everybody, it's Paige Evans and I'm so excited to share the very first layup that I made with my new collection with Pink Paisley called Pick Me Up. So there is a patterned paper filled with moths. It's paper 14 and it is perfect for fussy cutting. And this is one of those activities that I love to do while I'm watching TV or driving in the car on long, long road trips. It's mindless and numbing, but perfect for multitasking. And since I can't sit still ever, that's why I love it so much. And so I'm using my favorite pair of fine tip scissors from American Crafts, bonus points because they're pink. And I cut out all of the whole moths. So the ones that were on the sides that were partial, I didn't. And I ended up with tons of leftovers that I can use on future projects. So I'm using photos of Fox and Jane. This is from our recent family photo shoot for our Christmas cards that we get every year. And you can see in the background I have three pinkish pattern papers. I'm not sure which one I want to use. So you will see me play with the backgrounds and finally settle on one. And the next few minutes of this video is me trying to figure out the configuration of the mobs. I knew I, I mean, I just spent all this time using, or not using, but cutting, all, cutting out all of these mobs and I want to use as many of them as possible. So figuring out the arrangement took a little while, but in the end, I'm super happy with how it turned out. But I didn't want to just cut all of this out. I want you to see that not every idea works out from the start. So I thought I would layer them around the edge, kind of like butterflies flying in a group together, except for their moths. Some of them look like butterflies. In any case, here I'm just scattering them around to see if I like that placement. And I have the three photos tucked into the side. I decided it was just too busy. And so I thought about maybe creating rings of moths around the photo. So here I'm just going to start tucking them under each other in a wreath kind of design. And I thought about maybe even doing it in rainbow order. So putting all the blue moths together, all the pink moths together, all the yellow moths together. But again, it just kind of looked like a hot mess to me. You couldn't really tell that they're moths. So the next idea, I thought maybe third time's a charm, was to place the moths in rows, some facing up, some facing down, and then I thought I would stitch along all the rows of moths. And yeah, that just didn't look right to me either. So you can see I was really struggling. Okay, fourth time is the charm in this case. I switched to this light pink ledger pattern paper. It's a B side and I decided to not have the moths touching and I think that's what really helped make them stand out and become individual butterflies is not having them touch, not having them overlap. Each one gets its own little bubble and you can see that pile that I have on the right side. Those are all extras and I have them in a little bowl to use on future layouts. So now I am attaching each moth individually with a dab of glue and then I'm bending up the wings to create more dimension and make them look a little more realistic. And then I'm going to use my sewing machine and straight stitch through each moth so now they are held in place permanently forever and ever and they're not going anywhere. Just a simple straight stitch back and forth. And then I decided to, well, I trimmed the little thread in between each butterfly because I didn't cut the, cut the thread in between each moth as I was sewing. So I trimmed that thread, but I decided to leave the thread ends long. Recently, I've been trimming all my thread ends, but I thought they kind of added to the whimsical nature of this layout. So long thread ends it is. I decided to use two photos instead of three. I thought it fit the design better. And now I'm pulling out my brand new chipboard stickers from Pick Me Up. I almost said turn the page. Time to switch over. This is a brand new collection. It's called Pick Me Up. And just adding a few more sentiment stickers here and there. There's a 6x12 sticker sheet. There's a 6x12 chipboard sticker pack, front and back. And just tucking in some sentiments here and there that I thought fit with this, these cute pair of photos. Happiness, always. You amaze me love. 
adding some puffy stickers. There's some teeny tiny stars and flowers. So these are will be great finishing accents on layouts. They can go pretty much anywhere. You can always find a place for a little tiny flower, a little tiny star or heart. This is the first time I've had rub-ons in my collection, so that's super exciting. There are these tiny little clusters of hearts, so I cut out two bunches of them and I'm finding an open spot, rubbing it over, rubbing over it with a popsicle stick and then removing the protective sheet. Journaling along here on the right side, I'd like to draw my lines first with a pencil to make sure I like the placement. Now I'm writing my journaling with a .01 black precision pen. It's my favorite pen, my go-to pen. Going to underline it using the same pen, just so it stands out more, and erase the pencil marks. All right, I'm going to add another rub on these stitches, cross stitches underneath the journaling. I think it just goes along with that design of having rows of lines and words. And these apply really nicely, so that's, that's good. <laughs> and that is the finished layout. I hope you are inspired to use my brand new collection with Pink Paisley called Pick Me Up, and thanks for joining me today on the Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine blog.